Hello, hello, hello. Uh, today is Friday, March 18, 2022. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning for me. Probably not for you. Problem 139. I have here a rod, a uniform rod, which has mass M and length L. It can swivel around point P, like this, like a pendulum on a clock, like this. The friction at P is so small that you can ignore it. I take the rod at this end in my hand, this point, and I move it horizontally. So this now is point P, I've displaced it a little bit to avoid confusion. And I hold it here with my thumb, just as I do now. The question now is, what is the force at point P. That's easy. That's a high school problem. The rod is completely stationary, cannot move. Will stay there forever and ever and ever. That means the sum of all forces acting on that rod has to be zero. That means the force at P, the force due to my finger, my hand, and due to gravity in the middle, the center of mass. This little m is supposed to be this capital M. So the sum of all forces has to be zero, but in addition, the sum of all torques relative to any point that you can choose must also be zero. If not, it would start to rotate and it can't. The only solution for these three forces is then what I have shown you here. At point P, there must be an upward force one half mg. My hand, of course, one half mg and gravity mg. Notice that the torque relative to this point is zero, the torque relative to this point is zero, the, port, the, point, the torque relative to this point is zero, but it's also zero relative to this point and to this point. So this is the only way to meet those two conditions. Net force zero, Torques relative to any point is zero. Now comes the question. I remove my hand, just like that. I would like to know what now the force at the point P on the rod is. Instantaneous. So I take my finger off. And I want to know what, this will still be mg, of course, and this will be zero. So the question now is, what will this force be? I have decided that I will mention the name of the first five viewers in my solution who got it right. <laughs> I, do that, I don't do that very often. So the first five people who got it right, I will mention in my solutions. And I will probably post the solutions well, typically six, seven days from now. It's close to spring at the Northern Hemisphere. Close to the fall at the Southern Hemisphere. It's March 18. Have a nice day, take care, 
If you find this problem easy, so much the better. If you don't find it easy, that's okay too. Because, as always, we will remain friends. That's always a given. And that will never change.